Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the final Friday night is organ music night of September. My goodness me, it's been a very busy month, and uh, oh, what a tough month as well, but never mind, we're getting there. And uh, here we are, the final Friday night. Gosh, autumn leaves. Yes, if you look out the windows around the world, or at least around the northern hemisphere of the world, uh, things are starting to change colour and have been for the last little while. Mm. In this part of Germany where we live, it's been very warm the last little while, so nature is very confused as to what's going on, um, as are we, which is rather weird. But according to the weather forecast, it's going to be a nice warm weekend here until about Tuesday and then phew, downhill into autumn. So by the end of next week, it's definitely going to be autumn time. Perfect timing for October. So, there we have it. Can you believe it? It's going to be October on Sunday, October 2023 already. What happened to this year? Oh my goodness me, it's been quite something. Now, ladies and gentlemen, technical issues tonight. For some reason, the overhead camera... We've been using my iPhone for the past however long because I've been, I have cameras. I have lots of cameras. And they're really rather wonderful and they do all sorts of wonderful things. And then for some reason during that number, that's why I was looking up there, I wasn't looking for spiders, uh, the camera decided to stop working for some reason. Now it's, it's here, it's plugged in, it's doing what it's supposed to be doing. It just stopped working for some reason. So I tried, let me try unplugging the cable and then plugging it back in again. Uh, oh, come on, come on, come on. Ah, oh, two-hand job. <laughs> uh, do it by feel. Where is it? Ah, there it is. Plug. Nothing. Right, okay, if that's not going to work, then let's try unplug. Which one is that? That's uh, number one, two, three. If I unplug it from the atom and then plug it in again, let's see what happens there. Nothing. Right, ladies and gentlemen, no overhead cam tonight. So no spider cam tonight, I do apologise. I'm not honestly sure why it did that. Now, I'm also playing around with some different things here. Um, I have my screen set up differently, but I realised I've done everything in the wrong order. So what I'm going to do is whack that over there, and then take this and whack that over there. Ha -ha. You see, what I've done, I've, I've expanded the chat out. So I can see the chat, that's better. It's on the right-hand side of the screen now, so I can read that better. And it means I can do things like this and read the chat at the same time. Ha ha, that's clever. Which means, theoretically, if I go back to uh, the chat, I can do this too. <gasps> Look at that, which means Uza Meyer is now going to be happy that I've pressed all the right buttons in all the right order and everything should be working there. Right, uh, ladies and gentlemen, there we are. Right, now, autumn leaves, yes. Um, Tonight's programme is going to be sort of a few numbers of the sort of the general area we just had just now. Some lovely sort of um, uh, lovely soft and gentle melodies with lots of lovely crescendos from the Alessandria organ. Uh, oh, look at this. Hello. People have been buying tickets already. That's very kind of you. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. We'll have a look at that in a moment. Thank you. Um, uh, we will be looking at some brown pieces of magnificence <laughs> later on as well. And then we will be Opus Drive. We're going to be swapping over to Theatre Organ Land because we're going to have some fun, jazzy, cheery music. Believe me, ladies and gentlemen, we all need cheering up tonight. So um, the power of music will be at work tonight. Let's just let's just say that. So let me leave that for now, and we'll come back to that later. Um, and after this one, thank you, Cassie. By the way, Cassie gave me a wonderful way of. Ah, oh, look at that how to get hold of people in the chat without having to scroll through the chat. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that amazing? Wonderful stuff. Right. Ha ha. Exciting, exciting, exciting. Now, it's the time of year where we have our harvest thanks and all the rest of that, isn't it? So, let's have some harvest thanks hymns. Who knows the harvest, hank, thank, ha harvest, hanks, uh, harvest thanks hymns? Who knows them and uh, who knows all of those? However, before we do that, we had a bizarre request. A bizarre request for this piece of music. A wonderful piece of music written by Franz Josef Haydn. Franz Josef Haydn, who lived between 1732 and 1809. And uh, you will recognise it as the German national anthem. Um, and it's funny because it's not actually a German tune. It's an Austrian tune. 
much like the British national anthem is theoretically an American tune. Da da. Yeah. All of these things. All of these things have been sort of taken from other parts of history and added round. Now this one, uh, the hymn tune is called Austria. It was written by an Austrian composer called Haydn, and nowadays it's the German national anthem. Work that one out. However, if you belong to the Anglican Church, you might sing this melody to praise the Lord, ye heavens adore him, which is a wonderful hymn and, like I say, one of the finest melodies ever. And I'm not just saying that because I live in Germany. I'm saying that because it's true. <laughs> Haydn at his best. Shall we play it in F or shall we play it in A, E flat? Or both? Let's start in E flat. It's written in F in the book, but I, I'm, I'm going to play it in E flat first. And then we're going to transpose it around. Right, where was I? Was I at number five? Yes, I'm going to start on number five because that's nice and buzzy. Here we go.
Sorry, just checking in downstairs. Uh, yeah, there you are, the German National Anthem, or to give it its other titles. It has hundreds of other titles, just like someone listed there in the chat, the uh, British National Anthem, which has all sorts of different things as well. All sorts of different things. Someone said there, who was it, Mike, I think it was. It? Oh, no, Wolfgang, sorry, I think it was. Who said, what about the Bavarian National Anthem? Well, if you can get me a PDF of the Bavarian National Anthem and send it over, bingo, I will try to play it. Now, I see some requests coming in. I'll have a look at that in a moment. First of all, let's do some thank yous. Ladies and gentlemen, we've had a, a tip or two, a virtual ticket. Don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, your virtual tickets help us keep the channel alive, keep the music alive, and keep us sane at the, uh, more than anything else. Anyway, <laughs> that's the way to do it. Right, let's start from the beginning today. Who do we have? Stefan. Thank you very much, Stefan, for your ticket. That's very kind. Thank you. Who this? Werner. Thank you very much, Werner. That's very kind. Thank you. Thank you to Samantha as well. Thank you, Samantha. Very kind. Who's this? Who's this? Wolfgang. Thank you, Wolfgang. Very kind, Wolfgang. Where's Wolfgang? There we are. Now, let's go here. Who's this? Opus for the, for the long weekend. <laughs> I, I wish it wasn't a long weekend. Uh, that's that. Who's this? It's Mr. G. William. Thank you very much indeed. Who's this? Cameron. Thank you, Cam. That's very kind indeed. Right. Now, who have we got in here? We've got three different ones in here, or maybe more. Who's this? Alexander. Thank you, Alexander. Gerald. Thank you, Gerald. Jerry. Ah, thank you, Jerry. That's very kind of you. Very kind indeed. And Joe. Thank you very much, Joe. Joe, thank you, Joe. <laughs> and a, a little ticket from Joe. Ah, sorry, I have to say that because it's just, I thought I would just, I had to get that in, had to get that in. Sorry. Thank you, Joe. Very kind. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And also, Joe, thank you very much for the comment that, um, that came earlier, but uh, um, um, for personal reasons, we kept it out for now. More on that in the future. So, mm. but Joe, your thoughts? Oh, very much appreciated, and uh, we love you all very dearly, so thank you very much indeed. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's move on. So, thank you to that. Now, actually, hold on, let's have a look. Now that I've got this magnificent piece of kit here, who, you see, that's not true. That's not everyone in the chat. There are more people in the chat than that, I think. It says here, well, that can't be true. Hold on, that cannot possibly be true. Let me just go over here. That can't possibly be true. Yes, that's absolutely not true. Okay, it says there's 102 people currently in the chat and the list of participants, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So that's not true, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> that's absolutely not true. Um, so let's ignore the participant list and do it the old-fashioned way. Now, for some reason, I can't see it at all now. Ah, there you all are. Thank you very much. Right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, who's here tonight? Who's here tonight? Let's have a look. I'm just going to rip through some of the final piece of uh, the last pieces in the chat. Uh, people in the chat, sorry. Gosh, I can't speak today. Uh, Gleis van der Rohe, hello. Adrian, hello. Mike, thank you that you are there. David is here. Don is here. Julian is here. That's Julian from Shreveport. Uh, Gerald is here. John is here. Urza is here. Hello. Did I get everything right so far, by the way? Mirabilos is here. Mirabilos said the German national anthem was originally in G major. Mm, I don't think it was. The military version, and I know this because I've conducted various military orchestras doing it too, um, they all play it in the key of F. 
Uh, some play it in the key of E flat, and I've seen it in the key of D. I've never seen it in the key of G. That's interesting. Okay. But I'm pump a little lady. Wolfgang is here. Glass Wanderer is still here. <laughs> Jez, hello, Jez. I hope you enjoyed the first number tonight. A nice Welsh one for you. Bodenseehorn. Hi, Ingo. Nice to see you. Who else do we have here? There's there's Julian again. There's Wolfgang again. Mike again. Jim. Ah, Jim. Favorite name, Jim. Jim Cascagnette. Ah, oh, wonderful. Cascagnette. It sounds like something you'd have with spaghetti sauce, doesn't it? Tonight we're going to have marinara, but we're not going to have spaghetti. We're going to have castagnette with marinara sauce. I think that sounds good. Philip is here. Hello, Philip. Stefan is here. Hi. Niels is here. Gerald is here. Gustav is here. Hello, Gustav234. Why 234? Why not 123? Cassie is here. Um, Opus 3 is here, Mirabilos is still here, Razbuzz is here, hi Marco, cameratim.com, da -dum, da -dum. from sunny Australia, good for you, uh, Cameron is here, of course Cameron's here, hello Cam, and hi Kristen, Kristen is probably listening in the background on headphones secretly, and that's good, so you do that, uh, what happened there, Frantisek is here, hello my friend, Per is here, Per, David is here, hello, no podcast tonight, David. We're not in the mood. Yellowbird is here as well. That's very wonderful that you're all here too. And also, oh, Yellowbird, thank you for your request. Again, that won't be coming tonight. Maybe on Sunday. We shall see. See how things progress. Michael is here. Michael Becker is here. Uh, have I missed anyone? I hope not. That seems to be me up to date there. Samantha, yes. Samantha, we got you with your ticket. That's very kind that you're here too. Who else is here? Organist is here. Organist would like to hear Fraser play Woodlands. Numbers, please, ladies and gentlemen, or I shall have to look it up in the index. Shall I look it up in the index? Why not? Here is the index. Uh, da, 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 da. What did you say? Woodlands. There it is. 395. Right, let's look at number 395. Spontaneous. I shall be spontaneous for one or two of you tonight. And that one or two of you will start with uh, organist, simply because you're just called organist. You have a real name. Da 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 di da 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 pam pa di da 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 di di da da pam 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 pa. Ooh, I, do I remember this from my Anglican days? I don't know. Let's find out. Let's find out. Woodlands. It says, "Let bells peal forth the universal fame, Creator Lord of Thy mysterious name, Conscience within." The boundless heavens above disclose to faith the hidden name of love. Gosh, that's exciting. You have to put on your big sort of mon monumental voice for that kind of thing. Let be bells peal forth universal fame. Uh, composed by someone called Walter Greatorex. Sounds like something from Asterix, doesn't it? Oh God, it's Greatorex. Run! <laughs>
I love a good going hymn like that, uh, where you can faff about with the harmonies as well. I love that. Isn't that good? Um, anything where you find um, where you find that it's always yeah, which is dead easy. And I suppose at the end uh, you could go. You could also go. You could also do that, which would take you nicely to the to finish off. That would be kind of cool. Um, if you find scale movement in hymns, for example, oh, dee, 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 dee. where is it going? It's going there. So how do we get there? We could go. Yeah, or we could go all sorts of. We could head off to all sorts of places. The wonders of harmonic rearrangement it's a wonderful word i love doing it and um something i've always enjoyed doing i'm going to do a sort of a course on that one day um i'm busy sort of notating ideas uh, for the channel one of which is going to be piano stuff um we're going to do a piano course a boogie woogie piano course how to do that and that's going to be rather exciting um and i promised it years ago and i will get around to doing it but it's so difficult to think where to start. The problem is I don't actually know what I'm doing. My brain is just doing it all by myself subconsciously. That's the problem. For example, when I'm harmonizing, I don't know, hymns, um, you know, and I do this kind of thing. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, and I just do. Um, I just go there. I don't know. My brain just sort of says, yeah, that's what you do. I don't even have to look at my hands, they just fall naturally into that position um, when I think of a scale. Yeah? So if you think of any scale, you would do the same here. Yeah, any scale at all without looking, I'm here. Yeah? You sort of head into bizarre places and my brain's doing it all by itself, which I'm not sure about. And um, so I would have to sit and concentrate and think, why am I doing that? How am I doing that? Where am I coming from? And where the hell am I going? Um, and then you can do, you could do a course on how to reharmonize hymns in crazy manners. So I'm working on it, believe me. Mm. Tasty beverage. Don't forget the tasty beverage. Another ticket has arrived from Jan. Thank you very much, Jan. That's very kind of you. Very kind of you indeed. Thank you very much indeed. Good. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. We're moving forward. So I can play the boogie bass. Oh, good for you. Well done. My hands are now independent from each other. Were they physically joined to each other? Or are we talking here in the brain? Yeah, get your hands in. If you want to play any kind of keyboard instrument, independent hands is obviously very important. And uh, the way to do it, believe it or not, the easiest way to do it is to talk while you're doing something. So take something you can do by memory, for example, I don't know, a scale. I don't know why I chose E flat major in the left hand, but I don't know, I don't mind, why not? And the idea is you just keep doing that until your hands can do it all by themselves and you can hold a perfectly normal conversation with someone or an audience of people, or oh, 390 of you, thank you very much, uh, all 390 of you all at the same time, yeah? And maybe I will go a few more octaves while I'm doing it as well, okay? So this, this teaches your left hand that you don't need to concentrate on what it's doing. You can just, you know, let your left hand do it all by itself and you're concentrating on something else. What did you have for breakfast this morning, ladies and gentlemen? What did I have for breakfast? I had yogurt with muesli. There you are, that was my breakfast. And a cup of tea, of course. So there you are, there's the left hand doing its own thing there. Now, so when I come to start doing things with the right hand, my left hand can do all that. Yeah, it can do all that. Yeah, it can do that independently and I don't have to concentrate on the left hand. I can do the right hand all by itself. Perfect, okay? And so on and so on and so on. And if you're doing something like boogie boogie, which is basically, it's a left hand figure that just never changes. Shall we do a boogie on the organ? I'll show you what I mean. Yeah, let's do a boogie boogie in the organ. I'll show you what I mean. And the left hand just does something, yeah? And that you've just got to let it do it without thinking, okay? And obviously when you're learning, you're concentrating on your timing, concentrating on which fingers leading the beat. Thumb, 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 thumb. Yeah, your thumb's doing all the work there and you're concentrating on that. And that frees up your right hand to be able to do that kind of stuff at the same time. Yeah. 
and of course the trick is being able to talk at the same time doing both hands and feet in this you know part of the equation if you're playing the organ as well and talk at the same time and talking at the same time is not the same as singing a song um, having a natural relaxed conversation with someone a spontaneous conversation if you're singing a song it's lyrics you've learned that kind of thing you know what i mean so it's it's very bizarre but it's very good fun let's have so we have some boogie on Alessandria. This is going to sound very, 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 very big. I'm not sure what it's going to sound like. Let's see what we can do. This is, I dedicate this to David.
There you go. A bit of a boogie woogie on an enormous cathedral organ. <clears throat> Somewhere in northern Italy. Alessandria is its name. By the way, there's an up. If you are an Alessandria owner on Helpwork, there's been an update. Go and check the Piotr Grabowski website. However, there's a bug. I found a bug. I found a bug. Hooray. Piotr, if you're watching, I found a bug. Um, check this out. If I have something on the swell division, and I use the swell pedal, no problem at all. However, if I add to the tremulant, And now use the swell pedal, nothing happens. For some reason, adding the tremulant stops the swell pedal working. So, there you are. I don't know why. It's a bug. So, I hope that gets fixed. Sorry, sorry to bring that up. I hate doing things like that. But I was playing around with this organ earlier. I was using my Vox Humana and strings together with the octave couplers. And of course, you need the tremulant for that. It's a wonderful sound, but unfortunately, the swell pedal isn't working then. Bingo. Don says, not a bug. Of course it's a bug. Why is it a feature? Why on earth would that be a feature? Hmm. I think Don's trying to be funny. Okay, good. Well, you're trying to be funny, and that's good. All right. How are we doing, ladies and gentlemen? 2308. Right, let's get away from that book. And let's get into this book. Now, we're moving swiftly through the numbers here. We're getting into the 40s. Uh, the other day we had... Are we already at 40? No, we're not. We haven't had 39 yet, have we? No, we haven't had 39. Tonight is 39, I think. Gleiswander, is that right? Tonight is number 39. Um, is it? Yes, it is. It's number 39. We haven't had this one. And it's delicious. It's delicious. It's one of those tunes that does exactly what you want it to do. Now, remember last Sunday night, we were looking at some Baptist hymns, some beautiful Baptist hymns. Uncle Joe gave us a list of Baptist hymns, and we played through some of those. And they are so wonderful. If you haven't seen Sunday night, Go back and check Sunday night's live stream and check out the uh, Baptist hymns we did later on in the street. It was so much fun. Ah, the tunes are wonderful. And this is almost one of those. It's almost one of those. It's called something amazing. Gottes Kämpfer schreiten voran. So God's warriors. No, not warriors. God's, shall we say, soldiers. God's, I don't know. Go and look at your, go and look up your Bibles. Mm. Um... Advance, advancing, advancing warriors of God. That sounds amazing, doesn't it? It's not quite the translation I'm looking for, but it'll do. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's a big pedal sound, isn't it? Woof, woof. Why is that so woofy? Should that be that woofy? Yes, I suppose it should really, shouldn't it? All right, let's woof along to um, number 39 in the Brown Book of Magnificence.
Yes, oh, isn't that wonderful? Gottes Kämpfer schreiten voran. Number 39, which means on Sunday it's going to be number 40, which is back to a wonderful waltz. Now, we have had number 40 before, I recognize it, and it's rather beautiful. Here is a preview. Join us on Sunday night for this. Take your partners, please. It's the St. Bernard's Waltz, isn't it? Chum, chum. Wonderful stuff. We're going to have a night of dancing at some point, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, a night of traditional country dancing involving St. Bernard's waltzes, military two-steps, the gay gardens, uh, strip the willow, uh, dashing white sergeant. Hey, oh, dashing white sergeant. Oh, how does it go? Oh, I can't remember now, damn it. I can't remember. Oh my God, I've been away for so long. Ah. Somebody recently asked me in an email, I thought this was hilarious. Some, I get this from time to time. My name is such a traditional German name, isn't it? Fraser M. Gartshaw. That's a very German sounding name, isn't it? Uh, but people still write and say, oh, your English is so good. I said, uh, well, thank you. I suppose it should be. Um... But having said that, what the hell? Oh, what the hell? Send me the music to the Dashing White Sergeant. Somebody, please. Ian, Ian, are you here tonight? Send me the music to the Dashing White Sergeant. We'll get it. Barbara Moller. Hello, Barbara. Lovely playing. Thank you. Well, thank you, Barbara. That's very kind indeed. Um, yeah, we're having fun tonight. And ladies and gentlemen, that was, that was the end of our hymn session. Now, it's autumn time. I called tonight's concert Autumn Leaves. Guess what that means, ladies and gentlemen? It means, of course, we're going to head over. To, I'm sorry, Opus 3 is about to leave. Don't go. Please don't go. Wait and hang around and have some wonderful music on a wonderful instrument. Where is it? There it is. Uh, recording? I'm not recording. God. Oh, have I been recording all night? Uh-oh. Cancel recording. We don't need to record any of that tonight, do we? Check out Modern Hope Work. Boom. There you are. New organ loaded within seconds. Theatre organ time. Peg of my heart. I played Peg of my heart a few weeks ago, actually. Check that out. I played yeah, Peg of my heart. We played a couple of weeks ago. Mm. I suppose we could have a quick look at that again, couldn't we? Um, that's O. M L P. Peg, 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 peg. Oh, hello. What's this? Another Nancy. Thank you, Nancy. Peg of my heart. There it is. Da 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 dee. Peg of my heart. Okay, we had this a couple of weeks ago, but let's do it again. A one, a two, a one. That's it. That's all it does. It just, it's a, how many bars is it? It's like a 16 bar, is it a 16 bar? Yeah, 16 bar song. And that's it. Boom. Done. Gone. Right. Autumn leaves. Back to the A's in the book. Weep. That's a C. We want an A. Autumn, 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 autumn. Now there are various tunes with the title Autumn in their title. Uh, 
Come on, good heavens, are there that many bees? There we go, right. And of course, we have autumn leaves. Let's start with that. Autumn leaves is famous for one thing and one thing only, the circle of fifths. Right, now from this moment on, I'm going to dedicate the entire concert to Uncle Joe. Okay, Joe and Marie, of course. Uncle Joe and Auntie Marie. Um, uh, just because I feel like it, because uh, Joe and Marie are great fun people and wonderful people, and they always, they always, they always have a knack of just sort of, yeah, just being perfect. Now, a lot of you, most of you, all of you, of course, are perfect people. You are, and you know we love you all dearly. Um, but I don't know. I just feel like tonight, tonight we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna do this for Joe tonight. So and Marie, of course. Sorry, Joe and Marie. So there we are. Autumn leaves. <sighs> Who wrote it? Cosima and Mr. Jer and Mr. Mercer. Remember Mr. Mercer? 1947. This is newer than a lot of people think. Everyone thinks Autumn Leaves is a very old song from the 20s. Mm -mm. It's from the 40s. And the most famous thing about it is it's in the circle of fifths. Circle of fifths is a wonderful tool that can be used to meander through all the different parts of a scale, as it were. What does that mean? Don't worry about it. It just sounds good.
Autumn leaves doing its thing, doing its thing. Ooh, what's this, ladies and gentlemen? Excuse me, I have to have a look. Ooh, someone bought some coffee tonight. Yellow bird bought some coffee. Thank you very much indeed. That's very kind. Oh, and Marie and Joe also just bought some coffee. That's very kind of you too. And Cassie has been doing things. This is handy having my mobile phone here because then I can check the other account, you see. Ha ha, that's good, isn't it? Actually, I can check this one while I'm here too. Who this? A new ticket from... Oh, no, it's Nancy. We got Nancy just a minute ago. I need, I need glasses to read and see what I'm doing. I'm so blind and old. Can I turn that off and back on? Oh, I can look. I can turn it off and on from here. That's clever. Right, ladies and gentlemen, there you are. Now, we've just had autumn leaves. What about, what about this one? Autumn nocturne. Anyone know autumn nocturne? The other night we were going to have Harlem Nocturne and haha, -ha, I fooled you because uh, uh, we were playing pieces of music just, um, with, we played Harlem and we played some music from around. Did we play any Harlem music? I can't remember. But the Harlem Nocturne was supposed to be a play on words because we were using the Harlem organ. That was a play on words. That was rather good fun. Anyway, so I didn't actually get round to playing the Harlem Nocturne. So tonight we're going to play the Autumn Nocturne. And this is a wonderful old big band number, again from the early 40s this time. And it's just, it's so cute. It's rather lovely. There's a lovely recording I know from, ah, oh, my brain escapes me. My brain is really not working tonight. Um, I can't remember whose band it was. Damn it. Um, there was a wonderful recording. Joe will know it, actually. Uh, but it's rather lovely. It starts with a piano. Shall we use a piano? Let's have a piano. Let's have the piano on this mirror. Good God, that's a bit much, isn't it? Let's get rid of all the rest of that, then. There we are. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. That sounds a bit blackpooly, doesn't it? You've got to be careful. prefer the black one. Yeah, I quite like that. Harlem, not, not Harlem, sorry, Autumn Nocturne by someone called Myro and, I don't know, is that Gammon or Gannon? I'm not terribly sure. Uza Myro will be looking it up frantically to put it in tonight's list of goodies. Here we are anyway, this is a fun one.
I love that too. Isn't it beautiful? The Autumn Nocturne. Now then, there is of course another autumn tune and this was made very, very famous by Ella Fitzgerald and Louis Armstrong together. 1934 this time and they recorded it many, 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 many times over the years and it's a lovely ballad, a real gorgeous sensual. Is that a good word? Sensual. We like the word sensual. So uh, I'm going to change this to that and change this to that and press this and now I have a vibraphone to play with. So it means I can be romantic. That's a bit too romantic. Come on. That, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, is the tuba of a theatre organ. You see, a tuba doesn't have to be the fancy big thing that you have. It's quite nice, isn't it? And it has a, this one too. That's nice, don't you think? That's, that's a theatre organ tuba. There are more tubas on a theatre organ. Uh, do I have another one here? I do somewhere, don't I? Where is it? Do I? Maybe I don't. I thought I had a tuba mirabilis on this organ somewhere. No, I don't. I have this, however, which is amazing. Is that the vibraphone? That's an English horn, apparently. Don't know what's English about it. Post horn in other organs. Wonderful sounding thing. Anyway, here is Autumn in New York as um, played by me and as sung by them.
Autumn in New York. I quite like that. I think that's rather lovely, don't you? Wonderful sound. And again, these wonderful sounds you can get on this organ. Big, luscious sounds. Kind of cool, that. That's, that's strings. And vox humane. Ha ha. And then you add bits and pieces. To give it a hollow sound. Then you add more to give it an even more hollow sound. And then... You keep getting bigger and bigger. <laughs> Theatre organs are amazing machines, and I'm, I'm always, I always feel sorry that, that our friend Opus Rai disappears and doesn't like it. They're, they're amazing, fascinating instruments. Um, I know they sound weird, and everyone gets a bit sort of uh, worried about the sounds, but they're, oh, I don't know, they're great fun. Hold on. Uh, there it is. The end of September, ladies and gentlemen. There are a couple of wonderful September tunes, um, and here they are. <laughs> here they are. Let's have these little registrations again, and we'll have some fun. Take your partners, please, for our, I don't know, let's have a foxtrot to this one. <laughs> Thank you. 
September in the rain. It rained today for 20 minutes. Very bizarre weather we're having at this part of the world. It's almost tropical these days. As time goes by, says Jez, you must remember this. How does the middle bit go? There you are, as time goes by. Three quarters of it. <clears throat> there you are. Now, September song, Kurt Weill. Remember Kurt Weill? He wrote things like... <laughs> together with Berthold Brecht. Remember him? Nope. <laughs> The Germans will, but I don't think any of the others might. September Song, however, was written by Kurt Avail and a guy called Anderson together in 1938. Gosh, what was happening in Europe in 1938? September Song. <laughs> Don't forget the tap, tap, tap when we do that. Right, how are we doing? Apparently, we have had more tickets, and I should look. Who has bought a ticket? Our friend Gleisfandra has bought a ticket. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you for the number 39. You didn't tell us what happened on Tuesday and Thursday, because no videos were online, and you were worried. Well, I'm not going to tell you what happened on Tuesday and Thursday. Not very positive, so private. Let's leave it at that. Yes, uh, private things happened this week and are continuing to happen, so unfortunately uh, there weren't any videos on Tuesday and Thursday. Um, we will leave it at that. Could I please 
play a piece of music called something by someone. I sent it a while ago. It would sound great on the Mighty Motor. I think it probably would. I will have to look for that. I'll do it on Sunday. Thank you, Franti Schick. I will have a look for that on Sunday. Okay, good. A couple of extra tickets there. Thank you very much indeed, ladies and gentlemen. Don't forget, if you're enjoying yourself, a thumbs up on the way past will be very helpful. And it's free. And if you fancy digging into the old wallet, um, a virtual ticket on the way past or a cup of coffee, links available. Um, here, moderators, you know what to do. Um, are very gratefully received indeed. Um, uh, you can, if, if you're doing a virtual ticket, by the way, you can select a number of things. You can say a virtual thank you, as it were, and you can also say thank you to Vanessa, the director. Now, Vanessa, the director, um, will be with us again in the very near future, but things are a bit... Things are a bit emotional at the moment, let's put it like that. So um, we'll leave it at that for tonight. And, uh, but she'll be back very soon, so don't worry about it. So you can also say thank you to Vanessa. That might cheer her up, you never know. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see what else we've got coming tonight. Oh yes, I know what's coming tonight. Who's this? Jez, thank you, Jez. Thanks for the blind wear. And I still don't know how you pronounce that properly. And as time goes by, yes, all good fun. I love playing these things, they're great. Thank you very much. Now, I had a wonderful piece. Yes, this is one of my favorite pieces of music. And if I could get my Hammond organ working again, what's this? There's an, another email coming in from Dother account. Who this? Who this? Who this? Boris. Boris. Hello, Boris. Thank you very much, Boris. Who's Boris? We like Boris. Thank you very much. If I got my ham now, I have a Hammond organ here for this magnificent machine here, but I can't get it to work at the moment for some reason. Windows did an update, and since then the Hammond organ isn't working. I have no idea what's going on. I need to sit and work it out, play around with the MIDI settings, and get it to do its thing, um, and we shall hopefully get it working. However, this is a wonderful piece of music that you can just sit back and relax to. Cannonball Adderley. And someone called Hendrix, I don't think it was Jimi Hendrix, someone else, wrote this in 1955. And it's just such a fun, laid back, wonderful sort of almost gospel-y song. It's called The Sermonette. Have you listened? Dum, da, da, dum, sermonette. Dun, dun, da, da, dum. What did the, how did the words go? Won't forget, something like that, isn't it? Bum, ba, da, baby. I'll dig out the words for this, and one of these days, I'm one of these days, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sing some songs. I keep threatening to do this. Uh, when I've got the piano back in a stream, I'm gonna get myself at some point. I'm gonna get a decent singing vocal microphone. I've been thinking about it for some time, and I need to make it worthwhile because you know, a good vocal mic is an expensive uh, thing to have. And kind of thinking, you know, if I got one of those, I'd need to make make use of it. So we're thinking of podcasting, which could be interesting, and also getting some singing going again, which could be good fun. So I wonder if we could sing and play the organ at the same time. It might, there's a bit of interference going on, but it might work. We shall see. Anyway, here is the sermonette. I love this piece of music, and it's such a sort of laid-back one. If you're dancing, and I know Kristen Platz is, then bop along to this one. This is wonderful too. Oh, one, two, three, four, one, two.
sermonette. <gasps> yeah, what a wonderful piece of music. Oh, isn't it? It's just so... <clears throat> something about it. It's relaxed. It's laid back. It's just cool, man. It's the kind of music you want to sit back and have a whiskey to, maybe even a cigar. Or if you're in Canada these days, something else. No, um, <laughs> but yes. That's just the way these things were. I love pieces of music like that. On the same page is the exact opposite of that piece of music. It's a piece of music by Benny Goodman. And I know Uncle Joe loves Benny Goodman. So this is just bizarre. It's a very difficult one to play this one. Mr. Christian, who was the guitarist with the band, and Mr. Goodman, who was a clarinetist with the band, wrote this back in 1939. It's called Seven Come Eleven. And I have no idea what that means. If you do know, tell me. That's too fast, man. There you are. So that very brief seven come eleven. A very, 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 oy, very brief seven come eleven. <gasps> I'm exhausted, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, it's midnight. Midnight means what's this? I keep getting spam in my emails, which is not very good. Well, any last minute ticks? Oh, a last minute tick. Oh no, that was Boris. We got Boris. Thank you, Boris. Very kind indeed. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that was, believe it or not, Friday night is organ music night. I think we'll, let's do something else to finish it off tonight. Ha ha ha, yeah, let's do this one. A wonderful piece of music. It's just quite simply a sort of a blues, but it's so much fun. And this, this reminds me of, this reminds me of an old, an old friend from the music world who sadly is no longer with us. Um, an absolutely wonderful guy. I, I came across a video of us performing this together on YouTube many, many, many years ago uh, with, with the old band I used to play with, Rod Mason and his Hot Five. Um, and I also found a version of us doing it together with a band called The Top Seven. The Top Seven was great fun. There was an organizer up in here in Germany who uh, would get, in his opinion, the seven best, which I thought was flattering, the seven best classic jazz performers in Europe, or actually from around the world, and get them together to play together at around Christmas time. And it was great fun. And we used to do this. Uh, I, 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 I was very privileged to be part of that top seven. And this guy was our trombonist and singer. And a guy, he lived in, well, he lived between New Orleans and the Netherlands. He was originally from New York. And he had this wonderful gravelly voice. Steve was his name, Steve Yoakum. And Steve sadly no longer with us. He, he had a horrible 
thyroid cancer thing and it just it just ruined him it was horrible uh, and Steve used to sing this number and he used to get the audience going crazy Steve wasn't just a wonderful singer he could move in the most amazing ways he had very flexible hips let's put it like that and um, he could get everyone going big time on this and it's just a wonderful a wonderful number and it's been quoted over the years by many, many, there's a big mosquito looking at me there. Um, it's been quoted many times in all sorts of things. There's a wonderful version of Count Basie together with Ella Fitzgerald live in, I think in Switzerland somewhere, many, many years ago. And um, just out of the blue, Ella Fitzgerald leaps into this number and the whole band, including Count Basie, just goes completely crazy and they go off into a... <laughs> They go off into a mad frenzy, which I think is wonderful. It's not a fast number at all, but it's just a wonderful piece of music. It's called Shake That Thing. And you can, you can, you can, uh, you can interpret that to mean whatever you want it to mean. <laughs> Down in Georgia, there's a dance that new, the dance that's new. That's how the words go, shake that thing. So if you're down in Georgia and you fancy a dance that's new, then shake that thing and let's see what we can do with it. Okay. And that's it for tonight, ladies and gentlemen. So thank you very much for being part of the gang tonight. It's also the end of the month, pretty much. Tomorrow's the last day of the month, which means no tuba concert tomorrow, but next Saturday. You know what to do. I hope you enjoyed tonight. See you Sunday.